Right, folks, so I've just paused it before uh, the chairwoman announces the result, final results for the final two, who's going to compete against each other to be the next PM. So let's figure it out. Oh, right. Right, I'm just going to interject here. So, this afternoon, there was two ballots spoiled. And he, there again, there was another ballot spoiled or rejected. Now, this is a vote. This is a, a competition to decide the next PM. And three people, or two people, and once we did it twice maybe, has spoiled their ballot. We're living in an age of politics in Britain now where absolutely, and pardon my French, every fucking vote counts. Decisions, legislation, choices are made on a knife edge. Not with clear majorities, but on a knife edge where every vote counts. And there's a possibility three Conservative MPs rejected, spoilt their ballots. MPs are the first to bitch and moan when members of the public say, oh, what's the point of voting, nothing ever changes, or members of the public spoil their ballots. That is an absolute disgrace. It doesn't matter if it's the EU elections, local elections, general elections, Scottish, Welsh, Irish elections, doesn't matter if it's London mayor elections, whatever, eh, or legislation in the Houses of Parliament, every vote counts. And for an MP, possibly three Conservative MPs, to spoil their ballots in their own leadership competition, that is absolutely ridiculous. Now you understand why Brexit should be halted, because decisions made by Conservative MPs, and they can't put their money where their mouth is. Absolutely ridiculous, folks. Uh, that is not democracy. And I'm going to go on. Before this, there's 313 MPs deciding who they want to be as the next PM. But then it goes to the Conservative Party, which has 124, 25,000 members. That only represents 0.2% of the population. So never mind these clowns in the Conservative oh, and Unionist Party. Eh, it's 124,000 people who will decide who is the next PM and not one of them, one of the candidates ever committed to a general election. Is democracy dead in the UK? You're damn right it's dead. And it's dead because, just a classic example of this, three Conservative, Conservative MPs spoiling their own ballots and their own competition. Ridiculous. Absolute fucking ridiculous. Insane. The total number of votes given to each candidate were as follows. Michael Goh, 75. Mm. Jeremy Hunt, 77. Oh my God. Boris Johnson, 160. We therefore declare that Jeremy Hunt, Jeremy Hunt. and Boris Johnson are going forward to a vote of the qualifying membership of the Conservative and Union. So you've got Boris Johnson, Bojo the Clown, who does not have a clue what he's doing. And I've got to say this to you. Remember, he avoided the press conference with the 100, 100 journalists. He would not answer any of their questions. He avoided the Channel 4 debate. He wasn't prepared to be grilled. And if I watched the BBC debate the other night, and if you did, you would have saw the same thing as me. He had nothing to say. He was acting a clown again. A, a, a lot of bluff and bluster. If you actually watched him, he was looking about him, about looking about the place. He did not know where he was. He did not know what to do. 
and that's got to be possibly the next Prime Minister. I swear to God, and I'm not going to say that, I'm not saying this in a nasty way, and I'm not going to offend anybody with dementia, Alzheimer's, or anybody who's got friends or relatives with the, with the disease, but if you watch Boris Johnson closely, he looks like somebody with dementia when he was sitting on the stool. Everybody's talking and having their debate and putting their point across, and he's sitting about looking wired to the moon, looking about the place as in, where am I? What's going on? Who, who am I? What, what's that, I mean? Seriously, you go, you go back and watch that debate. And that's got to be your next Prime Minister. Now, Jeremy Hunt, a lot of people's forgetting he was the Health Secretary and nobody in the NHS had a good word to say about him. So I'll tell you this, there's a million employers in the NHS right now who will be like, shit. Our old boss has now got to be the Prime Minister. If he fucking screwed us once when he was the Health Secretary, what has he got to do to us now as PM? Here's food for thought, folks. Your possible two Prime Ministers, Hunt the Cunt and Bojo the Clown. Well, you reap what you sow, people. Bye-bye.